In this video series, we're talking about your devices and the privacy concerns they raise. My name is Courtney and I'm from New Media Rights, an organization that helps individuals understand their legal rights online. So, in the previous videos, we talked about the technology behind how your smartphone, tablet, or other kind of device determines your location in the world. Now, let's talk about where all this information gets collected. As we talked about in our last video, location providers like Google have databases of fixed positions like Wi-Fi hotspots and cell phone towers, which your device will use to determine its location. Did you know that Google actually had employees drive around with special sensors that picked up signals from hotspots and cell phone towers? That raised a few eyebrows, so they cut that out. Nowadays, they don't need people to drive around like that. Now, you do their work for them. Just by carrying around your phone, you're adding to one or maybe several databases of nearby wireless landmarks, even if you don't have any apps running. While that sounds worrying, you can actually turn this option off by turning off the location service on Android devices. Google devices are actually nice enough to inform you what their location service does. As with everything Apple does, the iPhone location service is a bit more mysterious. In order to know how you can turn that off, you'd have to read their user agreement. You should know that you might not even be able to turn it off. In 2011, the Wall Street Journal reported that iPhones still collect information even if you turn the option off. What's up with that? Apple. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Hmm. All the location information your device collects gets stored in your local cache file. The folder containing these files can potentially fall into the wrong hands. To make searches quicker and to keep from sucking up your battery life, information will often be stored on your device. This makes sense. If you always go to the same places, it would be a waste of time if your phone had to go through the whole process of triangulating its position every single time you wanted to find a location with your phone that you've already been to. Well, if someone else could access this data, that person could figure out where you've been in the past. iPhones can store at least one year of location data in their cache, even when the location services option is turned off. And if you sync or back up your device on a computer, it's probably on your computer too, and probably not all that secure. Apparently, Apple is trying to do something about this for its newer phones, but not for its older 2G or 3G devices. Location information also gets stored and tracked by some of the applications you install. If your device has games or other third-party software applications, your location information may be being sent to some of the developers of those games and software in addition to your phone service provider. Some phones and apps even share identifying information like hardware serial numbers with third parties. Sometimes your information goes both to developers and other people like advertisers without even informing you. Any app has the potential to republish any information you enter into the app as well as your private text messages, emails, contacts, and history from your browser history. And you know what? While some apps have privacy policies to go along with them, Neither Google nor Apple require their apps to have them. Oh dear, you look like you just saw a ghost. Don't be so scared though. In other videos, we'll talk about which specific apps to avoid and how you can change things if all this information gets you riled up. For now though, you might feel a little better if you could donate us some money to keep these videos going. You can donate on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. Take a breather and we can talk more in the next video. See ya!